You know, it is said that consciousness is mediated by chemistry. You know, our moods are dances of chemistry occurring in our brains and bodies. And we can mediate this chemistry, this psychopharmacology, through the ingestion of drugs, but also through the participation in certain activities, through placing the body-mind in certain spaces and places, a beautiful cathedral, a beautiful museum, a beautiful building or structure can architect a particular flavor of consciousness. In fact, even the placebo effect is not really an illusion because real chemistry is being is happening in our brains when we believe that what we're taking is going to affect how we think and so our moods are mediated by mind by world by chemistry and it makes you wonder if the words of David Pierce the philosopher who wrote the hedonistic imperative um, should perhaps be taken a little more seriously he talks about designing new mindware for ourselves he talks about designer drugs that will allow us to program gradients of consciousness that take us to spaces and places and blissful mind-body states that we cannot even fathom. I mean, he basically says we can become paradise engineers and that it is our moral responsibility to sort of create these prescriptions of mind for ourselves, to, to basically deconstruct and engineer uh, nirvana, right? To create virtual realities that we can inhabit and believe in and suspend disbelief within and accept. New software for the mind, right? Upgrade. The post-human gets to inhabit spaces of subjectivity that will make the old world seem barbaric by comparison. I think it is our responsibility as the meaning makers, as the dreamers of dreams, to turn all of interior life into a poem, a living, dynamic, living, breathing work of art. You see festivals like Burning Man, these gatherings that bring in hundreds of thousands of people to try to turn the world, to turn the stage in which we dwell into something more beautiful, something with a little more compassion, a little more empathy, a little more grace, gratitude, and bliss, to decenter the ego, right, to transcend <laughs> Maslow's hierarchy of needs and to go somewhere deeper and higher. Is this possible for ourselves? You know, there's experiments, right? We've seen people try to do it, creating these heterotopias, these temporary spaces in which it seems like it's possible, but then you watch the news, the doom and gloom, the terrorist threats, and you get a little bit depressed. It makes me think that, that, the, that the goal, that the mission, that, that the end game um, might not be possible because there's too many people conspiring against it. But I, I remain steadfast that we can't give up, right? Beauty will win. Love will win. Aesthetic, you know, aesthetic arrest, transformation, illumination, grace, these are the things that are worth, that are worth uh, you know, fighting for and working for. Yeah, I get depressed sometimes when I watch TV, but then I want to go make more videos and put more beauty out into the world and induce goosebumps. Rhapsody and rapture for all. That's what I want.